All right, in this video, we're going to do an example of using uh, a known trig value to help us figure out uh, kind of the, the, the links of the missing sides of our triangle. So in this case, we've got uh, a right triangle here that has hypotenuse 12. We know that tangent of alpha uh, is given by the, the value of 2 over 7, and we want to know what's the area of the triangle. So remember the area of a triangle is just 1 half times its base times its height. All right, well, we know again that tangent of alpha is 2 over 7. And remember, tangent of alpha is defined to be the ratio of the length of the opposite side to the length of the adjacent side. So, you know, we've got 2 over 7. Now, it would be a mistake to simply say that the opposite side has length 2 and the adjacent side has length 7. Um, certainly that would give us a ratio of 2 over 7, but notice this isn't going to be a right triangle at all anymore. You can check doing Pythagorean theorem. I mean, if we do 7 squared plus uh, 2 squared, that's not going to equal 12 squared. Okay, so this can't be a right triangle, but the idea is what I can do is I can just multiply by some unknown quantity x. Well now, uh, if we do the ratio of 2x over 7x, that will still give us a tangent of alpha equaling 2 over 7. So this is kind of the, the gist of this problem. We really have to figure out exactly these lengths first. And now by throwing in the x's, again, we can use Pythagorean theorem. So 7x squared plus 2x squared equals 12 squared. Now we'll have an equation involving x. We can figure out the value for x. That'll give us the width, the height, um, and then we can just use our formula. All right, so 7x times 7x is going to give us 49x squared. Uh, 2x squared is going to give us 4x squared. 12 squared is 144. So 49 plus 4, that's going to give us 53x. Whoops, I almost wrote x to the fourth. Um, we'll get 53x squared equals 144. All right, so got to keep solving here for for x. So what I would do is simply divide both sides by 53. So we'll get x squared equals 144 over 53. We can take the square root of both sides. Um, again, normally when you take square roots for equations, you get positive and negative. But again, in this case, x, you know, we're talking about lengths of triangles, so we're going to have to use the, the positive one. All right, well now, uh, we've pretty much got everything that we need. We said that the base of our triangle was length 7x. So the base will have length 7 times the square root of 144 over 53. Uh, the height of the triangle, we said, is 2 times x. So we'll get 2 times the square root of 144 over 53. So there's our height. Uh, there's the length of our base. So now I'm just going to go back and use our formula. The area is 1 half base times height. So it says the area is going to be 1 half the length of the base, which is 7 times the square root of 144 over 53, times the height, which is 2 times the square root of 144 over 53. <clears throat> and notice how I didn't even really bother. Some people will immediately you know, start trying to simplify the radical and all that stuff. Until I really know that I need to do that, I just kind of leave it alone because in this case, uh, things simplify nicely without doing that extra bit of work. So this is all multiplication. We can multiply in any order that we want. So 1 half times 2, that would just give us 1. So those are basically going to just sort of go away. We've got 7 left over. The square root of 144 over 53 times the square root of 144 over 53, well, that's just going to give us 144 over 53. And at this point, um, let's see, I don't believe things reduce too well at all. 53 is a prime number, so we could write this as 7 times 144 over 53. So let's see, uh, 7 times 144. I'm getting a 1008 over 53. 
So we would say that the area of that triangle is 1,008 divided by 53 square units, whatever the units are. So that's all there is to it. So I think, again, kind of the main thing you've got to be careful about is just, you know, not just labeling things with 2 and 7. Uh, you've got to use this 2x, 7x, solve for x, and then uh, use those resulting values to actually find the area of the triangle.